listen, forgive me, but I'm just going to promote something that's coming up on Netflix tomorrow. And it's not necessarily that I'm going to promote that as such, but I want to make a comment about it. Huge amount of promotion for Scoop. You must have heard about it. It's the story behind the interview with Prince Andrew, with Emily Maitlis. It was the Newsnight uh, interview. Um, and it's really the story of Sam McAllister, the booker, who was then at Newsnight and how she went after being able to get it. And there was, you know, the people at BBC was, there's no way you're going to get this. Everybody wants this interview. There's absolutely no way he's going to give an interview. And Sam McAllister managed to get it. And it was indeed a scoop, a fantastic scoop. And so the programme that's coming up is the story really behind the story about the sort of clash between the ideals, the traditions of Buckingham Palace and their needs and demands and the needs and demands of the BBC and how it all came together. And, I, you know, I do think this is obviously it's an interesting story, isn't it? No doubt about it. Anybody who saw that interview, that was a car crash interview in every sort of respect of the word. I mean, this whole thing about how oh, I don't sweat very much and I was a I can't remember what it was, Pizza Hut or, or, you know, or whatever on that particular date because he remembered his children were at a party. And so it was all really, really odd. But, you know, really, the thing is, it's always disturbed me is because there is a, a massive story here that I think is the scoop that isn't touched, that, that isn't covered. We know it's going to be a blockbuster for Netflix. And, uh, and you know, for me, what about the man behind the story, a man who has spent his entire life in a state of great privilege and great entitlement? You know, the fact is he may or may not have had sex with Virginia Dufre at the request of Epstein. But given that she was above the age of consent when it happened, I'm not sure and I've never been that that is really the story. The story for me is why the royal household, Queen Elizabeth II, now departed, felt the need to pay millions of pounds to Virginia Dufre in the first place. Obviously, the idea was that you pay Virginia Dufre, the lawsuit stops, and we don't go to trial, and then all this stuff can't come out. But what was all this stuff that couldn't come out? Because those millions of pounds, really, there's a lot of question marks over them, right? We paid millions of pounds. It was used to silence a potentially bigger story that may have involved national and international trafficking involving rich, powerful people, including presidents, tech giants, media moguls, you name it. Millions of pounds to stop further exploration of the potential for secret services to be involved in blackmail, including our own MI5, MI6 and Israel. Israel's Mossad, millions of pounds to stop the royal family and government secrets tumbling out and exposing the whole rotten lot for the fraudulent and abusive bunch of people that they really are. That's the crime, in my opinion. And that is the scoop. The fact that the son of the Queen potentially linked to trafficking networks and the Queen pays for it to go away. That is absolutely the story. Yeah, I'm sure it's all really brilliant how we got Prince Andrew for that interview and how he, you know, it was just an absolute car crash. But the real story is why somebody as influential and head of state as a queen would pay for tra sex trafficking allegations to go away. And I think that that's something worth pondering on. And certainly people like me, we've pondered on it for a very long time. Do you feel slightly duped by Gouffre? Um, in the comments. And I understand why that is. Obviously, it's very difficult. Clearly, this was somebody who was taken around, you know, was seen on the yachts and at the parties. There's that image, that famous image of Virginia looking, you know, just like a 17 year old. And you can see Naomi Campbell and various other people. So I do, I, I'm in no doubt whatsoever that she was trafficked. There's no doubt about it. But the story is not about paedophilia, where it comes to Virginia Dufre, because even by her own admission, she was above the age of consent. So it's odd. I, yes, it's a psyop. I do believe that it is a cover for something much bigger, Brett. I absolutely do, unquestionably so.